they found that there was a difference in my lungs and there were a couple of spots that there was a more density. And so that was a shock. First of all, that it was a totally different cancer than I was prepared to deal with. And then in my experience, I hadn't heard really good results in treatment of lung cancer. The survivorship in, from what I had heard wasn't great. And so first was, there was the shock of dealing with the second cancer. And then just the shock when we're told it's, it's such a blow to be told that um, you have to deal with a life-threatening disease. Because of my previous experience and the fact that I was a cancer survivor, that gave me a lot of hope that this could be dealt with. And once I got over that initial shock, that kind of numbness that comes with that, I was able to get it to a place of, okay, this is, we have to deal with this now. And I have to put all my energy and presence in taking care of this issue. It was in the very early stages, so treatment for me didn't involve any chemo, didn't involve any radiation. This surgery was not a, it's considered a major surgery, but when I think of the time frame from diagnosis to being able to get back into my life was a matter of six weeks from having uh, my upper right lobe removed in which the cancer was all encapsulated in that lobe so it hadn't metastasized, hadn't spread. They were very, very small. So I was able very kind of succinctly and simply have treatment and be able to be back into my life in, in six weeks. So let's just sway a little, kind of to the rhythm. Yeah, good. I don't think I can say too much about the fact that I was so lucky that this cancer was found early. You let that movement extend down your arms and reach, and reach, and reach. The care, every step of the way, there wasn't a person that I dealt with from going to have x-rays done, to having the actual surgery, to post-op, to care in the hospital, follow-up of phone calls when I came home. I mean, it was really a partnership throughout with so many caring people that it's so obvious that there was a great um, heartfelt love for, for aiding in recovery and, and health. Two and one, now shake it out. Lung cancer is not a death sentence, not at all. And try not to be afraid and reach out to the people um, in your family and at Swedish because there's a tremendous amount of support for you, for anyone. Um, to go through that process with as little fear as possible. So I encourage anybody who has to face such a diagnosis to um, embrace it, move forward, get treatment, keep the hope knowing that you very well are more than likely be a survivor and flourish in your life and get back to everything you love. Inhale, doesn't that feel good? Come around. Yes! Woo. <laughs>